Hi, today we're going to take a Google map tour of Lake Mary, Florida. This will allow you to see the proximity of Lake Mary to downtown Orlando, Disney and the attractions, the beaches and the airport, among all of the other points of interest and sites within this town. So stick around till the end. I will also share with you some census data and a current market report. So let's go take a look. Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Stephanie and I'm a local realtor here in the greater Orlando area. My family and I moved down to Central Florida in 2020 and we absolutely love it. Prior to that, I did a ton of research trying to find the perfect town for us to raise our family and I hope to provide you some value and insight if you are in the same position as you look to possibly make the move here in Central Florida. I would love the opportunity to work together if you're looking for a realtor, so feel free to reach out and if nothing less, hope you find value and enjoy my channel. Hi, my name is Stephanie, and if this is your first time to the channel, be sure to click subscribe and tap the bell for notifications so you can stay in tuned on everything there is to know about living in Central Florida. Today, we are going to be spotlighting Lake Mary on Google Maps so you can see the proximity of different points of interest within the town, see how it's laid out, get a feel for different price points of homes within, and I really hope this provides some value to you. Let's get started. Okay, so you can see here that this is Lake Mary, and Lake Mary is a town located about 20 miles north of Orlando, and it sits right along I-4, which is the major highway, as well as 417 here. So they're the two primary highways close by that can get you to Disney and the attractions, downtown Orlando, the airports, uh, lead you up to the, the out to the coast. And Lake Mary itself is located in Seminole County, and it has a population of about 16,000 people. And it's rated about top 3% in Seminole County for schools. So it's a great location as far as proximity, uh, safety, schools, all of that, which you can get more information statistically from niche.com. Now, looking at Lake Mary here, you have a variety of homes, different uh, locations, which stand out here. You have things for kids to do. You have Seminole State College, not too far away. You have um, the Sanford Airport, which is about 15 minutes or so, depending on where you are in Lake Mary. So that's close by, a smaller airport. And the distance from Lake Mary to uh, the closest beach, New Smyrna Beach, is about 45 minutes or so. You have Orlando International Airport, which is about 40 minutes or so. You have Disney, another 45 minutes maybe down to Disney, Universal is slightly closer since it's north, and downtown Orlando is about 20 minutes. So it's, again, a great location and nearby to most uh, main attractions without tons of traffic. So with that said, let's take a closer look at Lake Mary in general. I did pinpoint some spots that stick out, points of interest. And one of the great things that Lake Mary offers is it's been established for quite a while. So you have the stores and the restaurants and the convenience factor, but you also have nature infused within. So if you're looking for great parks, uh, things to do. There's a lot that Lake Mary has close by and can offer. So one of the primary areas that people look when they're searching for homes as well is Timaquan, which is a golf community. And this is ranked the number one golf community here in Lake Mary. There are others. Heathrow uh, Country Club has a golf course that's available as well. But Timaquan is a beautiful community of homes with a beautiful golf course that you can access. Now, 
Aside from the golf, you have many other attractions available as well. Oh, that was one of my favorite restaurants, which I'll talk about in a minute. So downtown Lake Mary, let me see if I can click this to get a better view. This is where you will find all of the holiday events. They do uh, Christmas events, Halloween events, different uh, farmers markets on Saturday mornings. They have little boutique shops, some restaurants and coffee shops. It's really a beautiful small town feel for uh, this area. And this is where really the heart of Lake Mary lies. This is near, as you can see, uh, it's actually right in the center of Lake Mary. And not far off from that, you will find a variety of different homes. You have access to many publics throughout Lake Mary. You have fresh markets. Uh, you don't have Trader Joe's or um, Whole Foods. The closest one is down in Winter Park. So that's about 20 minutes or so. Uh, but outside of that, you have your Targets, your Starbucks, Walmarts, you know, everything that most people will run to in addition to these little boutique shops. So downtown Lake Mary is uh, a great location to start here in the heart. Now, next I have listed here. Oh, I already did Timaquan. Oops. Next, we have here one of the parks. If you have little ones, Trailblazer Park is great. They have playgrounds and skate parks and they have a splash pad. So for a dollar or two, you can take your little ones to run around, have a great time, uh, keep them busy when it's warm out. And it's a, a great location nearby, not far from downtown Lake Mary. You also have available here, Greenwood Lakes Park, which is right next to the library. It's a, another beautiful playground area. You have the library right next door. So you can take the little ones, again, if you have little ones, to different classes that they offer. They also uh, butts up right next to the Seminole Trail. So you can go biking or walking, whatever you prefer, but that's available as well. I am going to open up my star locations just to make it a little bit easier to see. But from the outtake here, you can see uh, Walt Disney World Resort right there, highlighted down here. So that's the furthest south of the points that I've pinned. You have Universal slightly closer. This all runs along I-4 and it's very convenient with, with the I-4 Expressway now. It, you can hop on as soon as you get on the Lake Mary exit and about two miles or so, you hop on there and it drops you right off at Universal. So you can bypass a lot of that traffic. You have downtown Orlando. So if you're looking for those great hospitals or the downtown uh, convenience, whether it's a basketball game or whatever you wish, you know, they have tons of races and downtown Orlando has a lot in and of itself, but it's about a 20 minute drive down again I-4, so it's not very far. Another popular area, not far, I did want to mention from Lake Mary are uh, the different natural springs, which Central Florida and all throughout Florida really is known for, but Wakiva Springs is about 25 minutes or so from Lake Mary, and that's not far off a great activity or attraction to check out as well. Now, when we zoom back in to Lake Mary, you can see we have Heathrow, which is technically its own community, I guess, that lines right up to Lake Mary. We kind of like to include it within Lake Mary, but Heathrow is a huge community, 2,000 you know, plus homes in there. You'll find a variety of homes from uh, 400s all the way up to multi-million. So it really uh, depends, but that's right there again along I-4. And within Lake Mary here, you have, like I said, the trails, you have the nature, you have the convenience factor, but really it's the fact that it's surrounded by so much without the crazy traffic that downtown Orlando and Disney would offer. But in addition, you have great safety scores, you have great schools within Lake Mary, and it's a great location, like I've said 18 million times already. <laughs> so as you travel around, you will see that uh, you have Heathrow Commons, 
in Lake Mary and it butts right up next to Heathrow. These offer again, a lot of your movie theaters, your great you know, bars and restaurants, you have gyms, you have the Publix and Starbucks, you have so much available there, but it's a really great feel. There's even apartments that you can rent above some of these uh, little shops. So that's a great area that we like to go for on a date night, or we just wanna go have a, a nice night on the town. That's where we'll head to Heathrow Commons. Outside of Heathrow Commons, not far, this is technically Sanford, but again, we butt right up next to Sanford. So you have the Seminole Town Center. So if you're looking for a mall to do some shopping in, um, that's available as well. And surrounding that, of course, you have your chain restaurants. So your Olive Gardens, Texas Roadhouse, Longhorn, Red Lobster, all of those are surrounding uh, the Seminole Town Center. Now, Outside of Lake Mary up north, the thing that really sticks out and is appealing that we butt up against Sanford is Sanford has so much to offer. So if you are looking for a nearby airport, you have the Sanford International Airport. It's about a 15 minute drive maybe from Lake Mary. Allegiant Airlines flies out of there and it's a nice small convenient airport to hop on and off. Uh, pretty easily. So that's close by. You have the Amtrak auto train available if you're coming from Lorton, Virginia, and you'd like a video on that, I'll link it in the description below, but you have that available as well as a way to travel back and forth from Sanford to up north and vice versa. And you also have the Central Florida Zoo. So that's a nice little attraction that has its own splash pad. It's a nice small zoo and a great location to take little ones as well to keep them um, entertained and interested. And you have Lake Monroe right here. So if you have a boat and you're looking for a marina, you can drop it right here in the lake. You can take this lake. It connects to St. John's River, which then connects to the intercoastal, and you can make your way out to the ocean. So Again, I really love this location because it offers so much so close uh, without the crazy, crazy traffic uh, that further south can offer. Um, so as we kind of go through, I'm going to show you the census report so you get a feel and we'll check out uh, a market update so you can see what types of homes are available, maybe some close schools nearby, the walkability factors and, and whatnot. So as we zoom back over here. So as you can see, Lake Mary here has several different homes listed. You have homes in the 300s, you have homes in the multi-millions. It really is a plethora available and it depends on what you're looking for, but we can help you to narrow that down. Before we get into the homes, I wanna jump over to the census report so you have a, a general idea of what to expect in Lake Mary here. So Lake Mary has a population, as I mentioned before, of about 16,000 people. And the, the breakdown, it really is family friendly. It has, you know, everyone from little ones to adults to retirees. It really is a great blend across the board. And as you scroll down, you'll see the median home value in Lake Mary is about 350,000. And if you're looking to rent before you buy, we can help you with that as well. And it's about $1,700 a month. Now, again, depending on what's available, what's been sold, Lake Mary offers a plethora of homes available. So if you're looking for single family, uh, condo, a multi-million dollar home, luxury living, it's available here in Lake Mary. We're going to take a look over here at uh, Lake Mary and the market report. So I just ran this. In the last 30 days, the homes for sale is down 9.2%. So if you are looking to make the move or purchase in Lake Mary, it's definitely something to consider that the there's less homes for sale now than there were 30 days ago. Uh, new to the market, there's 48 homes and the average home price sold in the last 30 days is 720,000. So while the median home value is 350, the homes that are 
generally selling right now, you're looking at a, a median or an average of 720,000. So price per square foot is about $286. If we take a look down here, we can look at a recent listing. So here's one for 386,000. So if you're looking maybe in the under 400 price range, let's take a look and see what this has to offer. So this is a, a nice little home. It's in Copper Ridge Court. Okay, so this is located in Chase Groves. And you can see from the outside, these are well-maintained. Many homes, I should mention, in Lake Mary, you will find HOAs, but there are homes available without HOAs as well. So depending on what you prefer, Lake Mary offers it. But a large majority, yes, do have HOAs here in Lake Mary. Now you can see the kitchen, okay, it has a nice kitchen, could probably be updated a bit, um, but it's definitely move-in ready. As you scroll through, you can kind of get an idea here. Nice open, airy, natural light coming in. Um, definitely you can uh, modify and update bathrooms and things, but they're definitely move-in ready. Just a little bit of paint can spruce them up. Nice screened-in back porch, and you have a backyard available, which is looks like it's a decent sized backyard. So that's really great. No pool. You can always add a pool in to, you know, whatever you end up purchasing, but it does have a decent backyard. And this is in the Chase Groves community. So this is a single family home. This actually was built in 1994. Your taxes are about $3,400. And it's a three bedroom, two bath, so 1,588 square feet. So that's just a, an example here of what Lake Mary has on the market for under 400. You can see another, I'm not gonna go through all these, but more listings around the sixes. Here, let's check out the most expensive one. I won't go into a ton of detail here, but this just gives you an idea. This house is located in Heathrow. I have looked at this one before for $10 million. And again, this is what, what we mean when there's a plethora of homes available. So median home value is 350, but you have homes for $10 million available and for sale here in Lake Mary. Anywhere near Markham Woods, when you get over to that direction, so Heathrow, uh, Markham Woods area, you are going to be paying you know, upward of a million dollars out that way. The Looking at these homes here, you can see as you go toward that downtown Lake Mary, even uh, as you get out to the South Country Club Boulevard, you'll find some homes for the 350, 440. So you will find other homes in the lesser price range. And then all throughout Lake Mary, depending on what you're looking for, you can find a variety of homes uh, at a variety of price points. So. We personally love all that Lake Mary has to offer. We love the convenience factors. We love that it offers uh, great schools. We love that it has a great safety rating. We love that it's close to beaches, airports, attractions, highways. Uh, it makes it very easy for family and friends flying in to visit or traveling in to visit. And it's just a great location here in Seminole County. So. If you are looking at any homes and you'd like to check out other specific neighborhoods with different price point homes, uh, please check out the link in the description below and I'll link it above here for our Lake Mary vlog tour. And if you'd like more of a general overview of Lake Mary and the town and what it has uh, up close, you can see different features and videos, I will link another video for living in Lake Mary as well. So that is going to pretty much wrap up our home tour. Let me exit out of this Google map search here. So I hope that provided value to you in your home search to get a better feel of Lake Mary, Florida and all that it has to offer. If you'd like more of an overview of Lake Mary and the town in general, or different neighborhoods and different price points of homes throughout different neighborhoods of Lake Mary, be sure to check out the videos linked in the description below. 
And if you did find it valuable, please drop it in the comments below. If there's anything else you'd like to know about Lake Mary, please also drop it in the comments below and I'll happily answer. If you did find value in this and would like to see more videos about different towns here in Central Florida, be sure to click subscribe and tap the bell for notifications so you can stay in tune on everything there is to know about living here in Central Florida. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Thank you.